the infamous right-wing group, the Proud Boys, have abandoned former President Donald Trump. Oh, it, 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 really, it really feels good to say former President Donald Trump. Uh, New York Times uh, report uh, on them notes that the group is upset that he didn't both put up a, a fight to stay in office and also left them to twist in the wind alone. Oh, it's so good. Uh, in fact, they're frustrated that he hasn't helped any of the members who have been arrested for their involvement in the Capitol, uh, I'm sorry, in the January 6th siege of the Capitol. Uh, that is where, of course, violent insurrectionists uh, tried to take over to, you know, change the election results uh, to no avail. Now, on Wednesday, Joseph Biggs, a leader of the group, was arrested on charges of obstruction of a proceeding and in entering restricted grounds of disorderly contra uh, conduct. And, of course, a lot of these, um, you know, Trump supporters, they literally would go and film their crimes. And that was it. Like, yes, they filmed themselves literally doing felonies. Smart. Now, this guy is at least the fifth member of the Proud Boys to be arrested in connection with the Capitol riot, according to the New York Times. And yet, where were the pardons of the Proud Boys? Uh, Donald Trump had, you know, up until the, the 19th, to pardon, you know, anybody he wanted to, basically. Could have pardoned some of the Proud Boys. Could have pardoned a lot of people. Could have pardoned Joe Exotic. Or Assange. Or Snowden. Or, you know, somebody. But who did he choose? Who did he choose? Steve Bannon. The guy who literally stole money from Trump supporters. Using a, a, a fake build the wall. Again, this was somebody who was indicted and, you know, charged with stealing money from these people. But no, we're going to, uh, Donald Trump's going to pardon him, but not any of the people who supported him the most. Not only that, but Donald Trump openly denounced the violence, as he should have, of course, while privately hoping that the violence would have helped him stay into office. Uh, so he's an absolute political coward. Uh, what did you expect? Of course, we told you who he is. And he's shown us numerous occasions who he is. Uh, but again, a lot of these people painted, uh, you know, in their minds, painted something, a picture of Donald Trump that didn't, uh, didn't actually exist. That wasn't actually the reality of who he is. Uh, and so uh, Tiger King is super pissed off right now. Yes, yes, he is. Uh, yes, he is. But again, what did you expect? And so the Proud Boys have responded. Some members called Trump a shill. Others called him extraordinarily weak and have since urged others to not attend any more Trump events or even those from the Republican Party. It might explain why some of these recent rallies have been, you know, super sad and super empty. Who knew? Uh, the uh, Proud Boys also said in a Telegram channel on Monday, quote, Trump will go down as a total failure. I'm enjoying this. I, I, am I am I enjoying this too much? Like, is this is this a thing? Can I can I like overdose on Schadenfreude? It, can I, is this is this something that can happen? Because I want to make sure. I want to make sure. Like, I'm getting too many good feelings. You know, this this cannot happen. This is unacceptable. All right. I need I need to I need to not feel so good about what I'm watching. Maybe, maybe later I'll go depress myself by uh, watching something. I don't know what. Uh, but enjoy more. Yes, there's no, there's no such thing as too much in this case. They just realize that he's weak. They just realize that he's weak. That he's a sad beta. Oh my goodness. That's, it took them four years to figure that one out. Four years. Wow. And last week, uh, uh, good old Nick Fuentes had also wrote that Trump's response to the Capitol riots was, quote, very weak and flaccid. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Oh. Tighten up my meat. I like my meat tight. There is no, there is no tight meat going on with Donald Trump right now. It is very loose. It is very flaccid meat. I'm just saying. 
flaccid meat. Limp. Very limp. Very limp response. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> so, obviously, hey, it turns out Donald Trump's a gigantic liar. Who would have known? A liar and a con man. Again, who would have known? Oh, right. All of us, because we told you here on the show. I told you here on the show. Uh, I told, and it wasn't just me. Progressive media, we're on it. We're all over it. We're like, this guy is not a strong person. He's a sad, pathetic person. Always has been. Weak, cowardly, and pathetic. Again, Donald Trump ran from serving in a war. Okay? And and look, you know, he ran from Vietnam. And that said, like, I, I didn't, I, I'm not in favor of war in Vietnam. Of course not. Uh, but he still ran away from it while also claiming that, oh, no, no, uh, me, like, an, a, a, avoiding venereal disease, that was my Vietnam. Mm, impotent. That's a good one. I like that. Again, con man, carnival barker, all that. Uh, and it looks like the clown show is, the clown show is over. So now, on the Proud Boys, Ari Culver, a political consultant and researcher in Israel who studies the far right, here's what he said. Quote, when Trump told them that if he left office, America would fall into an abyss, they believed him. Now that he has left office, they believe he has both surrendered and failed to do his patriotic duty. Mm. Mm. It was never about the country, though. It was always about him, his ego, and his money. And now, I don't think he's going to have much of either. Let's be honest. His businesses are not doing well. His businesses are in the red. He's got gigantic loans uh, that are due. Uh, no bank is going to do business with him. Deutsche Bank closed his account. Uh, so he's got basically no one to run through. He's got uh, no more, you know, additional taxpayer monies that he can funnel into his businesses now. Yes, he's still going to get, uh, you know, a Secret Service support and all that. So, yes, he'll still get that in the presidential stipend. But at the same time, he's not going to be able to redirect as much taxpayer money to himself as he did before. So he's he's running... He's running out. He's going to go bankrupt again. Oh, I can almost guarantee it. Now, as far as QAnon, QAnon also had a meltdown. So I read you some of those responses yesterday. I've got more. Uh, in fact, according to insiders Rachel Greenspan, members of the far-right group QAnon have also disavowed the president. Uh, quote, so was this Q... I'm sorry, so was Q just one big lie and psyop that I foolishly followed and believed for over three years, one user said? Why, yes, that, that's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. Guys and gals, I'm losing my ever-loving mind right now. Is this really happening? Was this part of the plan? Asks another. No, the, because there was no plan. The plan didn't exist. It was, it was bullshit. And by the way, uh, speaking of QAnon, QAnon founder Ron Watkins owns 8chan, or it's, it's now known as 8kun. Uh, this is where that conspiracy came from, QAnon. That guy doesn't even live in America. Okay, he lives in the Philippines. Uh, and he released the statement. He's like, oh, you know, we're just going to have to move on. You know, we're, we're going to have to move on. Uh, we wish Biden the best. See you later. That's it. That's the person who we believe Q is. Okay, now this, again, it's not some guy in the government. This is some guy living in the Philippines uh, who owned a pig farm. Okay, this guy's a whack job. All right, and he puts out these, he puts out these drops, right? Or he, that's what he did. He put out these drops or, you know. Dumps, big, massive dumps. <laughs> big, massive dumps of conspiracy theories, which people have just started to realize were just garbage, bullshit. There wasn't anything to it, just fake news. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and share with your friends. You can subscribe and help out the channel by becoming a patron, it's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf, or you can become a channel member as well by hitting the join button below.